Hello all, this is Professor Ian. Uh, I'm um, shooting this short video about the term paper, which is due at the end of this week. Um, let me say off the top that I am open to extensions. My uh, The final grades aren't due for a couple weeks, so we could talk about turning it in next week. That's, uh, that's something that's possible. Please email me if that interests you so I can, you know, make a list. Because, you know, after the the course closes, I like to try to mark the term papers and everything as quickly as possible so I can get the final marks in. Because, you know, everybody wants their final marks and it's just better for the system to have it in. So uh, I try to get it done as quickly as possible. So let me know if you're interested in the extension. Uh, and let me just talk about the final paper a little bit. So I was marking the outlines that people finished and I noticed a trend that people aren't really... Um, following the instructions as I had written them. So let me uh, go through this again. As I noted in some feedback I gave people, what I'm asking for is not a typical uh, uh, analysis paper, argumentative paper. This is more of what we call a lit review, literature review. So this is something uh, that happens a lot in grad studies where uh, you're writing a big project on something. Um, like for instance, my brother is a plant scientist and he studied, uh, he did his his PhD on um, uh, breadfruit, which is a, a kind of starchy crop that grows in tropical areas. And so at the beginning of his big study, he had a, a chapter he calls literature review, where he reviewed the history of breadfruit and all the, the critical things that have been written and, and, and all the experiments that have been done on breadfruit. He kind of surveyed all that as a lead up to his project. So what I want you to do is that lit review on your chosen figure, right? So your outline, uh, introduction, you know, the, uh, how you introduce your topic, thesis, usual kind of introductory material, and then your summary. I have one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs because you need to summarize and deal with six sources that you find. So that's what you do here. Um, it would be a rough topic sentence about your source. In the essay, blah, 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 by blah, 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 the author is arguing blah, blah, blah. And then you might, you might jot down the basic points of the essay in your outline, and then your, in your uh, summary paragraph two, you do your next source, then you do your next source, your next source, your next source, your next source. Once you get to the synthesis paragraphs, um, I think I have what, well, that should be nine, or eight and nine, okay, yeah, eight and nine, not nine and 10. I think I put nine and 10, some of the feedback. But anyways, eight and nine. Uh, this is where you kind of reflect on the connections between these sources that you've just summarized, right? What you're looking for are trends in the, the criticism. What are people interested in in, in your chosen text or figure? Uh, is there consensus amongst the critics? Are they all responding to the same ideas? Or is there a wide variety of ideas people are pursuing when they look at this figure? Uh, what you'll find in criticism is that there's actually like, there there are trends. People... Uh, write about the same thing for 10 years and then it kind of shifts and they write about something different for 10 years, right? About different texts or figures. And that's just the kind of fashion of criticism or the, the kind of concerns that critics have that change over time. Uh, and that's what you'll do in your synthesis paragraphs. I have two, maybe more if you want to get, if you want to go there, but uh, probably two is sufficient where you're just trying to trace patterns, you know, what you noticed. Uh, as a trend amongst all those sources you just summarized. So let's uh, let's look at um, an example here. Uh, okay, so uh, hopefully you can see this when I changed over. Uh, you go to the library. Let's say I want to work on Achilles, right? I search for Achilles, just you know, putting that in the, the library search bar. Uh, let's uh, put it into the library catalogs. This is books and, and things that the library actually has, not just all kinds of stuff. This will help you narrow it down a little bit. So if I'm, I'm working on Achilles, I look down here looking for sources. Uh, okay, the transvi transvestite Achilles. Um, and this is on, in a later later work. Stadius was um, a first century Roman author, but he wrote a book about Achilles, the Achilleid. Uh, and so, sure, you could work on that. That could be, that could be uh, something a uh, well, librarian wants to Help me. No, thank you. Uh, that could be something you'd work on, right? So you could choose that. Let's, you can go through multiple pages here, of course. Let's see. Voices and voice and voice in antiquity. Lots of good stuff. Children of Achilles, the Greeks in Asia Minor since the days of Troy. That could be interesting. 
Uh, you know, you'd have to go through these and see if they're actually what you want. This one could be good. Uh, the Winnowing Ore, New Perspectives in Homeric Studies. Studies in honor of Antonius Ringagos. Ringagos? Um, this might be interesting. Let's take a look at this because this looks like it would be a collection of essays. So you might be able to get multiple things out of this. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. See Achilles, Achilles. Okay. So there's at least three essays in this one collection about Achilles. So then you'd come back to. Where's the outline? Right? So you'd summarize, say, that one of those essays about Achilles that's in that collection, another essay that's about Achilles in that collection, a third essay about Achilles in that collection, right? Keep going. And then again, synthesize what patterns do you know? Are they interested in similar things? Are they interested in totally different things? Uh, so that's just one source you could look at. Another good place to look at for a project like this would be uh, JSTOR. JSTOR is a good humanities database to find articles. And what I was just looking for in just the basic library uh, search bar is going to get you mostly books. But let's see. What if I just put Achilles in here into JSTOR? Oof, 32,000 results. Well, that's going to be too many. But let's see what we get. Oh, there's an interesting article about Swift Foot Achilles. People talked about that in the perusal discussions. So here's an interesting, well, potentially interesting article. Who knows? It's from 97. We want to try to keep things recent, but 97. Uh, now we're going back to 85. So pay attention to the dates, right? 87, uh, 2009. We could probably, let's say, oops, 2010. Just to modernize this, there's tons of stuff about Achilles. So if you uh, did choose Achilles, then it shouldn't be hard to find stuff. Well, and remember, Achilles is also a part of the body, the Achilles tendon. Oh, here's another one about Stadius's Achilles. Interesting. The wife of Achilles. Interesting. Ajax and Achilles play a board game. So these are more recent. 2011, 2016 for the wife of Achilles. So again, you'd find six uh, articles. You might want to try to find ones that already ha seem to have a connection. Maybe they're about women in the Iliad and the way Achilles treats women, like uh, the wife of Achilles probably deals with this issue. Maybe find uh, five other articles or book chapters that deal with women in the Achilles or women in uh, the Iliad and how Achilles treats women, something like that. But anyways, so then I take that article, The Wife of Achilles, I summarize it here, summarize a bunch of other articles, book chapters, and then synthesize. Again, look for patterns. What are people interested in? What are they talking about? What are they not talking about? What are, are they talking about totally different things? What does this tell you about the field of study, the critical interest in Achilles? Okay, so that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can email me. Uh, I'll reiterate, like I said at the top of the video, I am open to accepting these papers next week. I'm... I have enough time to, to mark everything, get marks in. So uh, please do let me know if that's something that interests you. Thank you very much.